Hi there, this is Coach John here from Learning Out of the Box. And today we are going to go through PSAE 223 Paper 2, Question 15. Okay, first of all, the routine that we taught LB kids is always to circle numbers, underline keywords. Okay, so here goes. Circle number. Okay, circle circle um as in fractions is also con considered as number. Okay, circle all this to make them stand out. Then circle them, circle them, and then circle them. Okay. Then next is to underline keywords. Okay, donated means minus. Gave away also means minus. Okay, at left, this is important as well. And then she packed. Pack can be a form of division as well. So that means in this last step, there will be steps that include division. Okay. And into either 10 books or 18 books. And for the fact that you can see that there are possibilities, it sounds like you need to guess the number of boxes that contain 10, 10 books and guess the number of boxes that contain 18 books. So here, we can safely say that it's just and check. Okay? Yeah. So there are two parts of this question. One is guess and check that starts off from here. That starts off from here. Okay, this is part two. And I would think that probably it's for part B. And the first part here will be part A. And that is for this part. Yeah. So we can analyze that there are two parts to this, this question. Okay. So let's start. Okay. When you see these fractions, probably what you can analyze for the key is there is this gap. Okay. So let's put here that's this gap. Okay. Yeah. So for part A, let's say if you draw a model, okay, you draw a model and then donated three out of it. Okay, three out of it donated. All right. So this is gone and this is what is left after giving away 3, 8. Then next, something happened. Okay, so gave another. So got to chop away another 24. Okay. And had 4, 7 of the books left. Cool. So this is 4, 7 left. Okay. Yeah. So can you see that there is this part here. Okay, there's this part here. And also, there is this part here that is left. Okay. And you know that from simple fraction subtraction, this part that's left is actually one whole minus three over eight, and that is five over eight. Okay. So can you see that this is a more than model, top minus bottom, that will give you the fraction for 24? So for the fraction left after donating will be 5 over 8. And then we have 5 over 8 minus 4 out of 7. They will give you, okay, let's make the denominator the same and you have three out of thirty six or fifty six okay yeah so this part is actually three out of the six. 
you can see it as fraction or units. Yeah, so you can see as the total number of units is um 56 units and 3u is 24. Or you can still continue like this and then you can say 3 of 56 of the total represents 24. Okay, so remember, whenever we have reached this stage, right, if it's 3 u is 24, the next step is always to find 1 u. So 24 divided by 3, which is 8. Yeah, so we always teach the LB kids that this part is always the same. This part is fixed. And 24 is a number to find one U. Yeah. And if you want to change this to 3U, you can do this as well. So this is an, an alternative. Okay. Yeah. And remember, the number in the question is always to find one units. Okay, to find one U. That's that's the purpose of the number. Okay, find one U. Yeah, All right. Okay. Anyway, uh, let me continue. Okay, so how many books were packed into 20 boxes? Yeah, so for 20 boxes, there will be four out of seven left. This one is actually packed. Pack into 20 boxes, okay, which is this part, right? So let me just underline this part. So 4 out of 27 is actually from here, is from here, is actually 32 out of 56, okay, of the total will be. 32 times 8, which is 256. Okay. And if you want to continue with your units method, it'll be 32u equals to 32 times 8 equals to 56, 256. Okay. So it really depends on how you want to use it. Either way, both are correct. Okay, remember for part B is guess and check. So for guess and check. There are actually four steps. Step one, you assume or opposite of what you know find. Then you have your big difference, and then you have your small difference, and then you have your big d over small d and in lb teaching we have the big tortoise over small tortoise okay so this is the big tortoise and then this is the small tortoise it's like big bully small yeah but we know that sometimes it's a small bully big but to make it easier to remember we can say big bully small okay so let's see what they want pack into 18 boxes. Okay, so that means this is the outcome. That means your answer here must be equals to 18 books, right? Yeah, it's a eight for 18 books. That means we assume all have 10 books. Okay, all are 10 books. So when all are 10 books, that means all 20 boxes are, are 10 books. So we have let's use a okay, let's use this color. So we have 20 times 10, 200 books. Okay, so this one is an under assumption. Okay. So the big difference is. This is the actual as uh, assumed total. So the big difference is the big difference between the 
actual total and the assumed total. Remember, for part A, uh, can always be used for part B. So this is the assumed, so this is the actual total. So we have 256 minus of 200, which is 56 books. Okay. Small difference will be one box of 10 books and one box of 18 books. So it'll be 18 minus 10 equals to eight books. And then big booty small. And your answer is seven. And that's it. Okay, I hope it helps. If you love our video, remember to subscribe and hit the like button. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.